Hello YouTube, Wisegrape here. I'm back with my Pac-Man Arcade 1-Up mod. It's a vertical two-way, four-way setup. I'm using RetroPie as inspired by ETA Prime's Street Fighter 2 example. After setup, I realized I didn't need to add the four buttons below the control panel. I could have mapped all the buttons I needed using the existing control panel. In fact, you could use the existing hardware if you want to. However, having a couple extra buttons during the initial setup will make it much easier. If you're going to use the existing hardware, you will need to change the connector for the joysticks to either a 2-pin connector like the HAP joystick or wire them for a Sandwall 5-pin connector depending on the encoder set you purchase. Here's a quick picture of the stock micro switches to help you see the COM is wired to the end of the switch and the normally open is wired to the middle of the switch. By using the volume switch for two buttons and mapping three buttons to the two buttons on the right, you can have what you need to navigate and play one or two player games. The volume switch has three positions, left, middle, and right. In this setup, the middle position is actually the off position. Sliding the switch to the left will activate the button map on the left, and sliding to the far right position will activate the button map to the right of the switch. Keep in mind the connections I have shown will not stay in position. You will need to hot glue or solder them into place. I have found the sandwall style buttons and connectors fit better. However, they do, still do not stay in place. You will need to secure them somehow. I have mapped A and player one start to the same button using different encoder button locations. I've mapped a B button, player one select or coin, and player two start for my final setup. In my final setup, the emulation station main menu screen can no longer be accessed easily as A and Player 1 Start are using the same button. I have set up the GPIO shutdown using the power switch so this isn't an issue. During the initial setup and configuration, I needed to set up the favorites list and modify any button mappings in RetroArch using the added buttons for X and Y. For my initial setup, I only set up one encoder and made note of each button location on the encoder. I mapped A, B, Select, Start, X, and Y. Y is used to select and remove games from the favorites list. I added Tempest for testing and needed to map the Super Zapper. After launching Tempest, I used Select and X to enter the button mapping config and mapped A for the Super Zapper. Once I was happy with the setup, I no longer needed X and Y and unplug them from the encoder. I am still using the buttons I added, so I connected A and player one start together using a daisy chain connection I made from extra button connections. To do this without extra buttons, simply use zip ties to connect the wires for the button connector you are using for player one start to the A button micro switch and plug it into the location where you originally mapped player one start. Make note of this location on the encoder board as you will want it to map the player 2 start on the second encoder in the same location as the player 1 start on the first encoder board. I have mapped the buttons A, B, player 1 select, player 2 start, and then player 1 start. To set up the power switch to power down your Raspberry Pi, I recommend checking out Detroit Love's video. He has an updated video detailing how to set this up without having to take apart the button. I'll have a link in the, in the description. I replaced the power switch wires and soldered the connections. The original wires are very thin and will likely end up breaking free from the switch after repeated tinkering. I have completed a Street Fighter 2 mod along with this one. I am enjoying both, especially Robotron with the dual joystick control on the Street Fighter cabinet. However, this vertical four-way setup is my favorite. I hope someone finds this useful. Let me know what you think and if you have any questions.